Hey there, it's Kat and this is Bruise and Reviews. Sorry if I sound weird or look weird, I'm very ill right now, so I'm just going to do my best to cut out any coughing and we're just going to get on with this video because I'm not sure how much longer I can talk for. So today we're going to be going through my August TBR check-in. So this is going through the books that I have hauled, unhauled and read throughout August. So we're going to start off with a list of the books that I read in August. The Discipline, World After, End of Days, The Kingdom, The Sunken Mall, Unnatural Exposure, The Hanged Man, Avatar The Last Airbender, The Promise, Parts 1, 2 and 3, Get a Life, Chloe Brown, Twas the Night Shift Before Christmas and Clap When You Land. Of those books, seven were physical books, five were ebooks and I gave one one star, five three stars, three four stars and four five stars this month. So overall a pretty good month even if there was one dud. So let's talk about the books I'm unhauling because I actually have some to unhaul this month. And um, the first one's The Discipline by Marina Anderson. This was the book that I gave one star this month and it was terrible and there was a lack of consent. Please go and watch my complaints with cat video about this because oh, wow this book sucked. Like, it, it physically pained me to read it. I almost DNF'd it, like, which I don't want to do, especially when I'm making a video on it, but, like, it almost drove me to that point. It was that bad. So this book sucked. There was, like, no consent, and we hate to see it. So what happened then was I went to my shelves and thought, well, fuck this book, fuck this book, and fuck this book. You know, the funny thing about this is I've actually read two of these. So I read this one and I didn't hate it. It was okay, but I read it when I wasn't thinking as critically as I think when I read these books now. So part of me wonders, is it as non-problematic as I thought at the time? Or is it actually more problematic than I thought? Because the discipline and forbidden desires were extremely problematic. This one was also not great with consent and I believe there was incest in it. There was a whole lot of like, this one was about like a film director that like filmed this woman and then like he filmed her in this house, he, she was a housekeeper and then he seduced her and then his wife seduced her with her brother. Like it was all very strange and I really didn't like it and I kind of blocked out that I'd read it. Like I'd literally forgotten I read this book until I looked at the back of this book and it turns out it was a sequel to this one and I was like I'm never gonna read that book. And given how much I hated this book I'm like clearly this author just isn't for me. And now I just have to struggle with do I donate these or do I just throw them in the bin because I really don't want to subject anyone else to this horrible horrible excuse for uh, erotic novels because they really aren't erotic, they're really quite dangerous and just horrible to read. So hmm, who knows. So now onto the books that I'm hauling this month. I actually received two gifts. So I got Every Heart a Doorway by Shauna Maguire from Mel from a book fiend named Mel. Thank you so much because honestly I have been looking forward to having these on my shelf. But these are one of these ones that I'm like, I have it on audiobook because that's where I originally bought them and I'm like, I really want a copy of them. So I just kind of put them on my wish list in like, you know, like just a hope that maybe someone would, would do that. Because like, sometimes I'm like, I can't buy it twice. Especially not if it's like a four hour audiobook and it's a very small like novella but like I really do, I really do want them and like this one is one of my favourite ones. This and the uh, the fourth one, uh, the one with the tree on it, the, those are my two favourite ones. So I am so so happy to actually own this book so thanks so much Mel. I was also given The Avant Garde from Faye from Mystery Date with a Book and this is such a fun graphic novel. I'm definitely going to be holding off on this one until uh, they get graphic with it readathon which is coming later on in the year. I don't know what it is about sports graphic novels and like sports contemporary books with like found family teams. I just, I just love it. And this has got some LGBT rep and it just looks so good. I've heard really good things and I can't wait to read it. So thanks Faye. So the only book that I actually bought for myself this month was Failure to Communicate by Kaya Sanderby. This is a sci-fi novel uh, with an autistic main character and I think polyamorous representation. So I'm really interested to see this one. I've heard a lot of talk about it being a really great representation uh, and I really want to read it. So I decided I'd finally buy it. Oh, and there were three more books that arrived this month but I did buy them back in February so I'm kind of I'm kind of not counting them as a whole because I've already read them as well 
uh, it was these three. They are absolutely stunning. And like, seriously though, like, look at it. Look at it. Look, look at it. And, and, and they're signed. How could I not? So technically that means I've only added two things to my physical TBR. And I've unhauled four books. Only one of them was unread, but still, four books have come off my shelves. And I read seven books from the physical TBR. So I feel like August was a very successful month for me. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.